the very beginning stages here of setting up an ex permanent exploratorium of science and technology and human perception in which people will be able to understand natural phenomena and technology uh, through work, working demonstrations by themselves. And the whole purpose of this place is to integrate different natural phenomena and make them understandable and not as fragmented as they are for the public. And natural phenomena include the things that are made by man, because that's a natural phenomena as well. Drawings that were programmed into a computer, some of them are pure designs, like that one is uh, more or less like a shell. Some of them look like mathematical equations. Others are permutations of a given figure, such as that one over there. Um, and then there's a music section and also a poetry section that was generated by computer. This is a very beautiful example of, a, of an oscillation pattern displayed on a, a oscilloscope. Again, um, looks like a television set. This is an electric analog. We also have a mechanical analog of the same thing, a pendulum which swings, and a, we're going to mount eventually a very large pendulum which does the same kind of thing on the floor of the palace television set in which one can deflect the electrons with a magnet and make quite beautiful patterns. Someday, I suppose, there will be television art in the home, um, but this is also connected with the focusing properties of electrons and with the large magnet in, that's shown in the Stanford Linear Accelerator exhibit. They also have very beautiful symmetric patterns in single crystals of very pure copper which are displayed because they're beautiful, uh, so that the technology of the linear accelerator fits with the uh, things that are going on in the cybernetic uh, serendipity exhibit. And when this is supplemented by the uh, work of the local artists in the EAT, it'll make a very fine show. And similarly, we have a television set which re reacts to the different frequencies with those microphones. Oh, oh, it's a color television set and produces very beautiful complex patterns. There are a great many other phenomena in nature that are even harder to portray by, than this, but perhaps we'll learn how with plasma discharges and nerve um, phenomena. There's gonna be a very large section on visual perception first And the notion of starting with human perception, I think, has played a key role in the development of the exploratorium. The um, mechanisms of perception really are how one finds out about the world. And that's what science is about. About, about other things are about, too. Art is about how one finds out, how one sees the world. Um, so both art and science are involved in how we perceive it, how the brain works, how our eyes work. And a lot of the exploratorium material is on the perception. Both art and science start from nature. They look at nature, they see patterns in nature, they transform these patterns, like the theme and variation in music, or the, the kind of thing that artists have done with abstract forms, changing them, putting things together until out of a lot of separate patterns, they create something new, whether it's an Einstein theory or a Cezanne painting or a, or a symphony.